hello guys welcome to my channel so this is actually the continuation of part one where i discuss about the software architecture pattern and design pattern in general so in this video i'm going to talk about the mvc or mvt also known as model view controller and model view template design pattern i will also talk about mvp which is a model view and presenter and also going to talk about mvvm model view view model architecture so let's get started so this mvc or mvt design pattern is super important because in most of the web application you you are gonna use it extensively so to understand this concept and this architecture pattern is really really important for you guys so the main things that you have to know is the controller that actually processes your data and handle all your business logic like if you want authentication login registration all the all the query that you are doing with the database sorting the values that you query from the database and all of those sorting uh, finalizing all of your data and handle all your business logic is done on the controller and how you get all the data from the database obviously you are using a model or we also call it as variables that we can use to map our object relational mapper that is connected our model with the database in the database you will have all the information which is in a structured way like you have image field text field all of those informations price image descriptions all of those information is stored in your database so all of those stored things you need to get all of those data using the model and that is what we call we, we query our data from the database and all those information is going to the controller because controller will control everything it takes all the information from the model and processes it and pass the context to the view now view you already know about it because view actually the user interface of our application of our web application or our mobile application it can be anything it just a user component that user interacts with you can touch it and you can um, activate it by clicking any button or whatever you want to do with it you can do with it and most of the people know very well about this view component and it shows all the information that is coming from the controller the view doesn't know need to know anything about what the model is doing because the model uh, is actually your variables that is connected to the database all the information is coming in the model so view doesn't need to know anything about it so it is a very good modular system that the view doesn't need to know anything or your html page you know, doesn't need to know anything what the model does it is just connecting and talking with the controller and taking all the information that the controller processes and send it to the view and view is actually just showing all the information is your in your html format document or blade template or anything template engine that you are going to use in many cases so it is actually just showing you the information the controller passes to it using the context simple as it is controller have the ability to control what the information it gets from the model analyze it and apply business logic to it and send it to whichever and all those those things are really combined and making the mvc pattern is really good for making web application and it is amazing for building complex application where the module system is really good when you are working with the teamwork so it is really powerful as well the best case uh, that you can see that the django uses the mvt pattern which is almost almost the similar as mvc pattern that laravel uses and asp.net core also use mvc pattern the same thing just the naming convention is little bit different here you see the mvt here v is actually the working as the controller in the laravel laravel uses mvc now c is the controller that control everything now in django it is i don't know why they name it view but it does everything that controller should do okay and the template is actually what the view is actually doing in the laravel so it is also also can be called as mvc pattern here the template is actually the html do document that you're gonna see in your web pages and views is actually the controller that uh, takes information from the model and processes it and showed it to the template same thing so these are the most 
uh, basic use cases in as you see in the web apps now the pros is that it is very scalable and it is very easy to maintain and test and upgrade because all those information are modularized and you just need to test the only the views file in the django app or the laravel you have to just test the controller which actually has all this logics and the maintaining is very easy and if you want to upgrade your application and add more features to it you can easily do it um, because all of those things are modularized if you want to upgrade any views file you just create another views file or you can update it you can do whatever you like and it is actually very friendly development process once you learn it properly it is very easy for you and it will be very friendly you can do you can make applications very fast and very quickly and with great project structure and it is great for complex application as you know the modularized thing is the best when you are creating any more complex application but it is very simple application then you can go just do it in your own way and it is also suitable for your team based work the cons is that you have to give some time to learn it properly you have to learn it very properly so that you can implement it uh, very perfectly from the beginning you just need to first analyze your application what is the your requirement is and based on it you would, you will design your application based on it and implement it and you need time to learn the pattern properly so once you learn it it will be really easy for you so this is not actually a con but it is a little bit time consuming to learn something new pattern it is always time consuming and you have to understand how to separate your logics from your data and view you don't want to query the database inside the view you just only sh want to show the information to the user nothing related to data or logic the logic should be done inside the controller and the data that is information is stored is only should be into the data so that when you need information we can get the information from the database using the model and apply business logic to it and show it to the view so everything is modularized and perfectly organized here so you just need some time that is the only con that you need to learn properly now mvp pattern design pattern is actually mainly in use i saw in android app de development uh, one of my university junior brother is really good in mvp design pattern i really uh, like the video that uh, he sh he made in his channel i also give a link to this so that you can understand better from him he is a really genius in this design pattern i'm not that good because I never used it in many applications, only one of them. Uh, so I will directly link his channel uh, so that you can understand and see his videos as well. And he is really good in this uh, design pattern. So the main thing is also the same as MVC, just a little different. Uh, in the UI component, you will have your activity in your smartphone when you uh, use any application, you see the user interface. This is actually the activity, it can be fragment, this is actually the view so this this is the part where you will interact with the most the presenter is actually the same thing as controller uh, just a little bit different because it handles all the business logics same as before the presenter is the second part here which is actually the working the same thing as controller but the interesting part is that it is also handling the uh, business logic and how the data is parsed from the model the model is the main uh, source of data that uh, we get and the presenter need to be interact with the interactor which is another component and interactor will come uh, will be uh, connected with the rest helper database helper pre preference helper all of those things uh, operations now interactor will uh, get all the information from the database all those information that you need to query to make something to show into the view so the model is your data source it is it is coming to the presenter to be processed and you know, do some business logic to it and based on that you will show the information to the activity suppose you are clicking any button to save some information and the presenter will do all the inform all the methods uh, all the functionality to save all of your information into the database and it will interact with the interactor and interactor will save all the information in the database and when you need some information the model is there to give all your information to the presenter so presenter is also actually working as a controller between the model and the view and view is simple just show the information the most promising thing in mvp pattern is that the no code in the view you just uh, if you want to replace 
the code the xml format where we structure our uh, android application especially in the native when you create a native application you need to uh, make all of your design files in xml so if you want to replace your xml and create a, your new design pattern you can easily replace your xml very easily because there is no important code or no code in the xml it is just any structures of your application in the ui component it is holding only the ui component no code the presenter is the only thing the only component that handles all the logic that helps to test driven development easier so you don't need to test every other thing like you don't need to um, test view or you don't need to test any other component just you need to test the presenter which makes it testing the application really easy and it is very easy to scale maintain test and upgrade all of those things from the mbc are there good things and it is great for complex application once uh, you learn it it is it will be very big asset for you and then for your career as well and it is very suitable for teamwork same as uh, mvc all those good things are there and the best thing is that the presenter has everything uh, so there is no code in the view so you can redesign your application whenever you want it is very simple the cons are there also the cons will also be there every single pattern has some cons so you need some time to analyze and you need a huge amount of time to analyze your full application then you have to implement it and code it and, uh, and based on the knowledge that you have so we have to the cons is that you have to analyze your application very properly and then design your application and the second point is that you need very highly skilled professional who actually know this MVP design pattern very well. Otherwise, you will be in deep trouble. They, you, they need to be really professional who know about it. And you need to hire or you need to be skilled by yourself and learn it properly so that you can uh, go into it. <clears throat> the next thing is that you need highly skilled professional who know about it. Otherwise, you will be in real trouble. Because without highly skillable uh, professionals, you'd, uh, they couldn't understand the design pattern and will mess it up. Because the module system is really easy to maintain, but the problem is that people get messed up in different kind of modules. Uh, whatever code should be in which files, they get messed up. So you need uh, good professionals to know this uh, pattern. And it is com comparatively complex pattern compared to other patterns and you need some time to learn it. And it is also not good for a small project as many other uh, software pattern. Uh, many people actually like to make complex application using different kind of pattern, not simple application. So learn this uh, design pattern. This is one of the best design pattern for Android development that I have seen and really, really clean and fast and pattern, which is also very recommended by the Google developers because they think they think that it is one of the best design pattern for Android application. It is also same the activity the fragment is working as the view the view model is holding on the live data now how the live data is coming it is coming from the repository and the repository can get information from the local database here is the ROM database from the SQLite or it can be online database like Firebase or something and it can also be some uh, data resource like API services like uh, weather API services or in the right picture that you can see the movie uh, all those information uh, coming from the API services also all of those things holding the live data and repository is sending all of those uh, repository is actually capturing all of those data and view model is actually the breeze between the activity and the repository and view model gets all of those di live data from the repository now it holds all this live data and shows all of this information into the activity or the fragment component now the component are these these images in the right picture that you can see the director name the release date the income on the rating these are the all the text field and the right part is the uh, real data the live data that is coming from this retrofit web api service etc and this is coming from the repository and the view model actually have the access to all of those live data and when the activity or the fragment opens all of this information in the text field is updated with the view model live data as you know all those live data inside the view model the activity or fragments doesn't need to know anything about how the data is coming it gets all the data 
from the view model live data section segment so so that the all the information director release date income rating all of those is coming from the view model live data and if some information is updated inside the live data it will automatically notify changes to these fields to these text fields so you don't need to refresh it manually it will automatically refresh it that's why it is called live data it will live update to your into user interface you do not need to do anything any coding inside the view or anything the view model will handle all of those things for you and give you the information that you need in your user interface so very simple in mvc mvp and mvvm all of those things in a modular system where they will have your repository or the data source or the model that is giving all of information from the database or any api services the view model is working as the uh, controller that actually gets all the information from the data and show the information inside the activity or the fragment of the view so <clears throat> all of this information is actually passing from one module to another module to another module and the ui component can be like text image form button etc whatever you want so these are the main thing that mvvm actually the mvvm is little bit different because it has a name of repository that handles api services or the database operations and and the getting all those, those data and the view model is get all those data from the repository and do whatever you like the view the logics happens inside the view model so if you want to actually test the application you just test the view model portion and it would be done so testing is also very easy in mvvm now the pros is that the mvvm design pattern reduces the amount of code that you we write in the view file which is actually the xml file in android so it reduces the amount of code which is really important when you want to build a very efficient application the strong data binding that saves a lot of code and no need to manually refresh the view <coughs> there is no need to manually refresh the view because there it is live data you don't need to refresh it manually when the information is updated your text field will automatically update it with the live data you don't need to worry about it suppose if your information is coming live from the database it will update automatically you just don't need to refresh it anymore so it is much more efficient thing to understand to build um, it is very easy to test as you just only need to test the view model part of it that handles all those logics the repository handles the api data fetching or services so you don't need to worry about other modules that have to be really good in api fetching or the repository part handles all of those hassle for you and the view model handles the logic and the view actually shows the information simple as it is the cons is that it is very difficult for beginners it is very difficult for beginners once i'm telling you that uh, you need to do at least three to four project based on that if you want to really easy with it the code reusability is difficult of views and view model because the views is handling a live information that is coming from the view model now it is binding all of those data from the view model so binding is there so view model and the views are bind together so you cannot write just any reusable code for your xml or you cannot uh, drastically replace your views or xml file into from another xml to another xml you cannot replace it easily like you can do in mvp pattern so the data binding there is working between the views and view models so it is not very efficient to reusable your code in the views it is easy to maintain but when you want to replace it or upgrade it it is tougher and managing various components is pretty hard because there are two three four layer that you need to manage various code and the component which is makes it really complex and makes it hard to learn as well but once you master all of those things uh, you can make a very efficient very efficient and very high quality applications which is really good for your career as well and for your application development process some people makes it very difficult to understand the difference between mvc mvp and mvvm because there is a lot of similarity between them in mvc the 
controller does all those uh, business logic processes the data and how it gets the data from the model and the controller shows all the information from uh, that is getting from the model and parts all those information query from the database all of those things processes it and shows it to the template uh, as the view in the html files and using the context it just pass the context to the view and in mvp same the view and model uh, work the same way but the presenter and interpreter is the only part that is added because interpreter and the presenter handles all the business logic processes all of those information and it gets the data from the model same as the controller and the the person who is using the application is uh, actually interacting with the view but when you click anything it will uh, does the inf does the work in the presenter so when you're testing your application all of your functions would be in the presenter so you just need to uh, just test the presenter files so it would be perfect and for the mvvm just one thing is there the live data that is coming from the repository uh, from the model repository handling all the model or api services and the view model get all the information from the repository and the view model is holding on this live data but when the view needed live data it passes the live data to the view so view don't need to worry about model or view model any other thing view if you don't even know that there is a view model but view model actually passes the data uh, that is bind with the ui component with the view just pass the information nothing else so these are the main uh, thing that you have to know and uh, understand the mvc mvp and mvm so this three architecture is really different uh, in many cases but they look similar in many cases as well so this makes things uh, really complex when you make application at least three to four of each of them i think then only you can be really good at this otherwise you will not be good at it so thanks for watching guys so these are the three main architecture that i wanted to talk about there are two more which i'm going to talk about in later part of the video so uh, I will also making a live demo project of a Django app why, uh, where I show you the MVT or MVC architecture pattern, how it working there in a real world project. So that will give you a much more better idea compared to the presentation slide that I showed here. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you support me to the, uh, to the next part so that I can give you much more information as possible that I can do. So thanks for watching guys. I will catch up in the next video. See you later.